Hello, my name's John, and today we're going to be looking at the Gate 2 DG control panel, which is SEA's main 230 volt control panel. This is the first in a series of tutorial videos for the Gate 2 DG, and today we'll be looking at a basic overview of the control panel. Our basic overview is going to look at the digital screen and help you understand what the dashes mean and how to troubleshoot the control panel quickly. Let's take a closer look at the digital display. On the top row, from left to right, you have start, pedestrian start, and the stop dash. On the middle row, you have four dashes. These are your limit switches. If you're not using a limit switch system, these dashes will not be displayed. From left to right, you have motor one open, motor one close, motor two open, motor two close. When the gates are in the middle of travel, you'll see all four dashes on. The limit switches are normally closed circuits. When the gate gets open or closed, the dash will go off. Let's simulate that now. If the gates are in the closed position, you should see this combination of dashes on the screen. This is showing that the dash for motor one open is on, but the dash for motor one close is off, signifying that the gate is in the closed position and the same for motor two. When the gates reach the open position, you'll see this combination of dashes instead. Along the bottom row, you have four dashes. From left to right, the first dash is photo one. This is the photo cell that would normally be fitted to the outside of the property and is designed to prevent the gates from closing if there is an obstruction in the closing path of the gate. So that is photo one. Photo two is the second dash along and this is used to pause the opening motion of the gate but it can also be used to stop the closing motion as well. The third dash along is the first safety edge contact. Uh, if I just push the safety edge here, you'll see that it's uh, the dash is going on and off. And finally, the fourth dash along the bottom row is safety edge two. SEA safety edges can be set up to work in opening and closing by default, but you can also separate them off to work only in opening or only in closing. When troubleshooting the control panel, we first look at the four dashes at the bottom and the stop dash at the top. If any of these dashes are missing, this will likely be the reason that the gate is not working. Secondly, we check if the start dash is permanently on, as this feature will cause the gate to hold open. When a dash is found to be missing, we will ask the installer to follow up and check the corresponding device. Next time, we'll be looking at the programming cycle for the Gate2DG. For more tutorial content, don't forget to like and subscribe.